Hi, this is Sofa Dolls, and I went to a doll show yesterday, and I was a dealer also um, selling some of my collection of other types of dolls, not my American girls. But I also did shopping, and that's the best part of a doll show. And um, when I was setting up on Friday, I was able to start shopping from other dealers. So before the show even started, I found this piece. I think it's called the Curly Q um, Daybed, and I got it for... A really good price. It is it is missing, you know, parts of the whole um, what do you call it, bedspread set. But I was hoping to make a new one. <coughs> excuse me, a new one for it. Or if I really decide I want, I'm going to buy the other rest of it on eBay and just get a new one. And it is missing uh, one of the beds down here. But that is easy to fix with just uh, making a new little mattress. But I really like the framework. And it was, like I said, a very good price. And I thought it was super cute. So I was excited I got to get that Friday before the show even started. And then I also was able to get this piece, something that I've wanted for a while. And this one was a great price too. So I can put my uh, hair supplies, or at least some of them, they're not all gonna fit here, next to my salon chair. So there are two items. It was a successful doll show shopping and I had a lot of fun. Let me go get the other pieces to show you what else I brought home that. So hang on. Now this is not American Girl but I did try a doll and she does fit in it. It's a cute little uh, like a desk or a drafting table and a desk chair. So I thought it was really cute. I got this from the same dealer on Friday night. And I'm excited because I bought years ago uh, one of the American Girl little computer sets and I haven't even taken it out of the box so I'm hoping to get a little display with that set up. So this is all what I bought Friday on my way out after setting up my table a little bit. And let me show you what I found on Saturday. At the show I also bought some doll boots. There's one seller that, that sews and she sells doll shoes and she's always knowing that I will be coming looking for new shoes. So it's nice to visit with her. And look at how cute these shoes are. There is a little pair with white and fur. This pair I love. It reminds me of what I bought my daughter. Some boots, just Uggs like this. Really cute. And look at that little pink pair. They have the little balls inside, but I hid the balls because I didn't want my cats to get this while I was in the process of getting the video ready. But they have little laces. And look at these boots. There's a silver pair, a beautiful turquoise pair, white with pink. And I did buy one pair of ice skates. She had these in a few different colors, and the red was just super pretty. But I'm kind of regretting a little bit buying them because I could have put the money towards another pair of other boots. She had so many cute pairs. And I'm not going to use ice skates as much as I would use the regular boots, but I'm hoping to see her next month at a, or another couple of months at another doll show. So maybe I can get the other pairs then. And I do have my final item I got from her. And like I said, she sews. I normally never buy anything that I could make myself, but I fell in love with this outfit that she made. So I went ahead and let myself buy it. And take a look at how cute this is. Look at the fabric. So it starts with these gorgeous gold boots. And then on up. See how pretty that is? And this is probably my favorite thing that I bought at the show. So I'm extremely happy that I bought it. So pretty. I just love it. So what was your favorite thing that I found at the show? If you could comment below, is it the bed, is it shoes, or the boots, the dress? What was your favorite thing? And uh, thank you for watching, and if you're interested in doll shows, you should do a search on the internet for you know local doll shows and put in where you live, and maybe there are doll shows where you live. Thank you for watching.